part two. Okay, so we're back, right? Okay, so, um, um, she said that we, the lady that we're talking to at the exhibit said that she would see us at, uh, the lecture that Dr. Zahi Huas, um, was giving that night. Um, so we went there and it was sold out. There was 4,500 people there and it was an amazing scene. We tried to get there, uh, very, uh, uh, close to the stage. Um, and there was a VIP section and there was a guard that was standing there and they had, he had to check everybody's, uh, VIP. And he was talking to us and he said that he went to Egypt when he was 19. Um, long story short, we went to go see if the lady was out in the, um, the part where everybody was coming in at, and, um, um, Emily and I went to go find her to let her know that we were there, and my husband and this gentleman was talking all the time, and he was telling her about Emily and how she's been studying since she's been four, and how her, the role model, her role model is Dr. Zahi Huas and everything, so... Um, the lady, um, actually, that we were looking for was actually there talking to my husband in the, in the, I call him a guard, but he was Can just checking everybody's, um, uh, tags. Go ahead. Um, well, I was looking for a girl in a blue dress. She changed. Okay. Into a black dress. Okay, so anyways, um, we... When we got back, the gentleman said that he had to move us, and I looked back and I saw all these people, and I said, "What, well, honey? Okay, well, look at the camera because okay. they're gonna want to know why you're looking at me." Um, anyway, so we, um, I looked behind me and I thought, "Well, who? How much further do we have to move back?" And he goes, "We're moving you to the VIP." And we were so excited that I gave him a hug. <laughs> so we were row two, um, and. Um, my daughter was so excited. Go we ahead. had to move back a row because we had to look up just to see half of the stuff. So yes, yeah, so we, we, we went back. in second row. And um, so uh, he, two people came and introduced them themselves to us, and we didn't know who they were. And they were saying that they were like the curator and, you know, these big important people. But Paul's the big we had assumed honcho stuff. that they were just saying hi to us because we were in VIP section and all the media and rich hoity toity people were there. So anyways, um, <laughs> we were, we were there and, uh, so Dr. Zahi Huas came out and he talked for an hour and a half and, um, after it was all over, um, it was an amazing, amazing lecture and Emily was very excited. Awesome. And. She had. I couldn't breathe. This book in her hand. Show the back. It? And it's very, very thick. Uh, that thick. Okay. It's thick, and it's heavy. And um, my uh, daughter was holding it because afterwards he's gonna sign. And he says, uh, "Where's Emily at?" And when he said, "Where's Emily at?" He has this very thick Egyptian um, <laughs> accent. <laughs> And um, Emily uh, didn't really understand him. And so he said, where's Emily at? And she had this book in her hand, and she threw it at my husband. <laughs> and she said, oh, my God. And the audience heard her, and they all were just, like, kind of <laughs> laughing and excited for us. And he goes, come on up here, Emily. And it was so sweet. I mean, anybody out there that has children, um, they, they want to do things for their children just to see the look on their face and, you know, like Christmas and, you know, all that stuff. They, it, it's, a, it's a memorable moment. And I, I saw my daughter meet her role model, and I knew how important it was for her. And the look on her face was so priceless. It wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. It was just... It was an incredible moment, and she's holding her arms out to him to to give him a hug, and it was like like she was um, a long lost friend or something, relative or something like that. It was just amazing, and they hugged, and um, there was no pictures and there was no video, and that's the one thing that I wanted, and and. But I couldn't have it, you know, because you're not allowed to take it. But there were, the people that introduced themselves, they were taking pictures. 
backstage. So there's one picture, and it's of her hugging him, and you can only see the, her from behind. So anyways, um, it was very, very sweet. And, yes, say, say what you said to him. Um, well, I said two things, and I'm really, really shy, so it was really, really hard. I had to open up my mouth, <laughs> but, ah, like that. And I said, you were the best person I know, and you were my role model. You laughed at that. <laughs> but it, he laughed, and then he hugged her again, and he was just, he was all smiles. He gave her a kiss on the cheek, and he put her hand on, he put his hand on her shoulder, and he says, where's your mom? And he and every time I tell this story, I visualize it, and, and I'm crying. My husband's eyes are as big as saucers, and my daughter is standing there, and she's just fascinating and in awe of what she's seeing. And the, the shocking part that happened, and when this happened to us, of what he's about to say to us, was like, it was a surreal moment. It was like, you knew what was happening, you knew what he was saying, and as he was saying it to us, it was just like it, it was like you were watching TV show or like it wasn't real. It was just, it was amazing. But he said to her, "Where's Where's your mom?" And I waved. And he "Is that the dad?" Yeah, he waved to to him. And he and he says, "I'm taking you, your I mom." Say it. I okay. want to say, it. "Okay, okay." I am taking you, your mom, and your dad to drum roll, please. <laughs> Egypt for 10 days on him so we're going to Egypt and as soon as we as soon as he said that the whole audience including me I'm bawling by the way uh, was like oh and it was just so sweet that moment was was incredible now we're told this and we didn't know anything about it and what was so incredible is that um, everybody that was there we're waiting in line after it was all over to get our, the book signing and everybody's asking us well when are you going um you know what did you do to get it and we're like we don't know you know what we know you know and um so we went to the book signing and um uh he signed her book uh, that's <laughs> he signed her book and he said that um i said to him it to Emily Dr. Zahi Hawass. I'm sorry, the camera's so bad, guys. But, um, anyways, he signed her book, and what was so incredible about it was that I said to him, Were you serious? He goes, Yes, I want your of course address. I'm serious. Of course, I'm serious. I want your address and your phone number, and we will know. It looks like it may be October or January. I'm hoping January because it's much cooler there in January. It's about 80, which I'll still melt, but it won't be that bad. <laughs> so, that's the news. Do you want to say anything else? That's it. That's a. That's what happened there. So if he, he'll, um. he'll tell us. Okay. Wait. Um, wait. I want to say the only reason I keep itching my nose and everything is one, it's allergy season, and the only reason I look sick because I got sunburn in the sun. Um, so. Okay, guys. It's almost. It's nine minutes, and um, we just had to tell you the great news. They didn't see you wave. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Always, as always, Ron, uh, Heart Rose. <laughs> and Emily Rose. And Emily Rose.